Anyways, with that being said, we got the wooden planks and everything. We can scan this. Oh, it already did. Oh, because I scanned it from over there. Now, what's awesome now is that if we go through... Hang on, let me turn off my light. Turn off the light, please. Thank you. We now have the model N4 MK1 carbine. So, this thing is a lot more powerful than pistol. It's a little bit harder to aim. And it has a capacity of 10, but it's a lot more, you know, um, stronger. It's, um, it's not that bad of a gun. I don't really use it that often, but it's good for the only game. So, what I might do is... Hmm. I'm not so sure. I don't use, I don't use flare a lot, because mostly... I'm safe. I think I'm just going to ignore using the carbine for now. I will show it off at one point though, I promise. Actually, there is one difference in this room and I automatically realized it. In this room, you will force, you will not only get the carbine, but you'll also get um, basically mine, like landmines. And I realized they actually don't give you those here. Interesting. Oh, I just got a gold trophy, unbreakable. Oh, 2,000 score. Oh, our character has 2,000 score. Nice. Yeah, so if you don't know what I'm talking about because of the PS4 force and you own trophies and all that, which no duh for anybody has the PS4, but I just got the trophy for 2,000, so we hit 2,000, which is actually really interesting because 2,000 to me is pretty easy to hit in this game. I'm not going to lie. Nice. And see, you can eat the map, but saying water can be water. So, you lose a little bit of a life because of food poisoning. So, I often don't do it because there's plenty of other health items you can use to get. And that's ammo. Oh no, that's a health pack. Yeah, see, there you go. Medium health pack. Killing this guy. Just in case. That's a heal. Boy, heal. Guy, heal. Oh. Crap. Okay, there we go, got him. Because I wanted to finish it, because I knew he was coming up, and then I was like, oh, couldn't do it, because I was close enough. And you also need to hold down the attack button, so that's see what's in your carbine and pistol ammo. Nice. But no, the handgun will pretty much be your primary gun. In a lot of zombie games, honestly. Oh, that's a lot to make here. More items over there. Infected. Uh, I think that's about it. Okay, so those guys kind of just tried to jump scare me a little bit, and that does happen sometimes. The game will, the game will kind of don't let you see what the zombie saw, so they try to do that. And you can see that she almost grabbed me. I saw that grab because I turned around. She tried to grab me. That's it. You just hope the Molotov because you tried to grab me. It does take a while for the zombies to burn up. Try not to get too close because you can actually get hurt. And there we go. So that's a Molotov. Pretty good. Pretty nice. Um, throwable. Because again, I do want to try to show off all of the weapons and throwables. The only one that I might not show is that once we get to see the landmines, I might actually ignore using the landmines, and that's only because landmines are really dangerous. They really are, because they could possibly kill you. I'm not even lying, they can. If we step on your own landmine without being careful, or if a zombie gets right next to it, and you're in the line of sight, you're done. You're totally screwed. There's nothing you can do it. Yeah, sometimes that happens, but you can still hit their head. And, oh, come on. I don't trust you. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, here comes a kind of a, um, a new type of zombie. Which is armor zombies. They're pretty basic. You know how these guys work. Basically, they just have more armor, but what you need to do, you can't actually shoot these guys. Because they have body armor, so you need to get the head off. And then you can actually do some damage. And then if we want, finish it off with the pistol. Oh wow, well, and I guess they do have more health. I actually didn't realize that, so they do have more health too. It's good to know. I think that's about... Yeah, we just need to get over there. Oh, there's another guy. So we got week one over here. 
Hit him twice, shoot him in the head, get the skill level up. There we go. And uh, shoot it. Done and done. Let's get over there. Locked, eh? That lot of good that did them. You'll have to pick the lock, find a tool. Okay. So now we got a final lock picking tool so that way we can actually lock pick because um, sadly we can't. Because we don't have anything to lock pick with. No zombies because we already took care of them. There's one right behind me and there's nothing in there. The good news is this is that the camera angles does help you sometimes. Okay, I was about to shoot him because he was already on fire and I was like, I can totally kill him. And don't worry about the zombies coming back to life if they were on fire and die because they're definitely not coming back. Eat this. Oh dang it, Wiley! Don't do that seriously. Uh, the character will sometimes moan, and that actually does it help because you don't know if like that's a zombie or not. Get rid of this, and probably this. Break the health pack here. Come back for it later. There you go. Keep one Molly. Have two flares. I like having two flares for health insurance. Let's see here. Oh Look no. The roof. Someone's raised the flag upside down. That's a distress signal. Maybe they're still alive inside there. Yeah, so he talks about how it's upside down. I know reason why I say oh no, because I kinda know what's gonna happen here. But I can't remember when it happens, and I think it actually happens now, but I'm not so sure. Okay, not that. Oh no, it might actually be happening. Let's see all the thing. Oh, it's that zombie. Oh, I didn't even notice. Cut. I just attracted two. Okay. Well, this did not win as planned. Damn, he just got head started. Damn. Damn. Get down. I actually don't want to finish some, I actually will just hit him one more time. There we go. Damn, you really have a lot of health. Prepper here. I'm pretty sure there's an old raven shelter nearby. Might find what you need down there. Okay. I don't know why I picked that up, because I literally just chop another one off for the reason of okay. Well oh by the way you can get these um big packs of ammo. The machine gun ammo, so that way you can use this. It already has some ammo, but you can use this. Shooter. You almost never use those in the game, but it is there. For any occasions that you might need it. I could have used it there, but I honestly didn't, and not only that, you don't get any skill for it. Oh, but we do have a cell phone now. Oh, is that actually a normal item? Simple will about has gator wings and power in the cricket bag. Wait, you can actually equip this? This is different. This is really different. I don't remember having a cell phone in the game. And I don't even think you have one in the Wii Force. So. Okay, so there are some different. So this is actually a new melee weapon. Wow. The only thing is, even though it's basically better because it has more weight and has more power, I kind of don't even care. I don't even care, honestly. Oh, I can't swap it. Huh. Can I chop the kick cricket back? No. That's interesting. Okay, so we'll, we have a cell phone now, apparently. Okay. Hang on. Yeah, give me the cricket back. Yeah, so those are for toy grenades. Don't mess around with those. Pull the pin, count to three, throw the bloody thing away. Yeah, you actually do. He actually does tell you that all you need to do is count to three. Actually, can you put items in here? You might be able to. Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. They still have this feature. Oh, you can't actually put it back. You have to chop items. Oh, I thought you could. Throw that away. Throw this away. We're using grenades. Screw that. Okay, we have grenades now. And we got the lock picking tool. There. Freaking zombie trying to come at me. 
so whenever you find one of these cell tours, because I said there was a cell tour here, you can actually go to these cells and you can take by. Sometimes there's some items in here. Just checking around. Yeah, there's just a workbench right here too, so if I want to customize anything, like my pistol or the, you know, good old grand. And uh, I really don't need to. At all. I really don't. You can actually go through the whole game without upgrading, but I'll make sure to upgrade something at one point. Just not now. So let's go ahead and go to sleep. Because this actually saves the game from here on. Which, you know, why not? You know, just do it anyways. Okay, now that we're awake, we got some milk. A hey, milk, what's up, milk? Get out of here, milk. Oh, wow, the milk is invincible. What is that? Petty soup. Huh, looks like apple juice or whatever. You know, those can see. You know, those things, you know? Look sharp, soldier. Infected incoming. Okay, that's so off the grenade. Okay, well, that worked. I think. Yeah, it did. The grenade has a really big blast, too. And I remember this part now. It's always at this and Oh, I remember this guy, too, because they actually don't let you go through that easily. Ah, oh, because you have this guy. Hang on, I have to think this one through. Because I gotta be careful of hole. Push this guy away. Because I can't do anything to him. There we go. Oh, three. Doesn't matter though. Because uh, getting over one here. Yeah, turn your back against him so that way I don't get grabbed. Oh crap. Hey, no, one away, one way, one way. Go back. Just reload. Get that one bullet in there. Shit. Okay, use the weight off, see if there's any more. Oh yeah, there is. Come on, I can take you guys all on. I'll kill every single one of you. I'm one man armoring this. I don't even care. I'm breaking by the game's rules. That one. This one. And I have a lot of ammo to spare. Nope. Gotcha. Oh wow, I can't even reload. Wow, already ran out of ammo, huh? Sad. Any more? No. Damn it, I can heal them. Oh, not? Crested Moth? Oh, thanks. Come on, ammo. Thanks, ammo. I don't have a choice here, do I? Not anymore. Okay, we'll go on. Well, we gotta go. Okay, we gotta go now. We gotta lockpick this thing. Oh, it's a lot more harder. Oh, it's a lot more harder. It used to be way easier than that. What the heck? I got, wow, I got so many of them on me. Hmm, I need to think about this. What I can do, I can actually retreat for now. Go to like, because I can actually lockpick the door quickly, but thing is, is that the way you lockpick it, you have to hold it in a specific place and then wait, but I can't even find a place. Move pick. Oh, there's right behind me. Oh, you know what I can do with the machine gun? Oh, why is there so many over here? I can't even get to the machine gun because you... Ah. Oh. Hmm. Because I'm not really that dangerous. I basically am playing Call of Duty Zombies here. I'm just training them. But the problem is, is that once they grab me or if I want too low on health and I have a stamina bar too, sadly. I need to get to the machine gun tower. Come on, come on, come on. I can do it. 
Come on, Wiley. Yeah, hang in there, Wiley. Oh, crap. Really? Out, 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 out. Done, done, done. I don't know how this works anymore. What? What? I press exit, just let me through. Oh, I don't even care anymore, screw that. Because I don't know if they were like, infinitely spawning. Or something like that, but I'm gone. Yeah, I'm gone. I don't even know what happened there. That was pretty bad. Seven shots left, which is fine. I can heal up a little. Well, you now have a pulpit gun. <laughs> Too bad I didn't have this during the fight. <sighs> really? That's what you get. There we go. Flail. That's actually pretty okay because I ran out of flares. Because. Nope. Oh, God dang it. I hold you, Mr. Zombie. I hold you. Okay, because again, I do rely on the flares a little bit because flares are good in this. I think they're kind of the best throwables because if you're ever in danger, so if we need to do what I just did, which is train them up, then you can just throw a nice little flare. Bye bye, rats. Bye bye. Anyways, with that being said, hmm. Let's just go down here. Yeah, because there's a dead end over there. Yeah, okay. Oh man, yeah, that was rough, because I knew what was going to happen, but I really did thought I could one-man army and just be like, eh, I can kill them all. It's not like the guy actually going to try and kill me. Zombie over there. I can try to kind of snipe him, because when you're in the water, like deep water like that, you care to throw up his backpack, basically. Uh, too bad you can't aim down the scope. That's one of the things, like, you need to have the scope attachment, but maybe if I can just... Uh, oh my god! Wow! No scoping it for days! Holy crap! I'm gonna be honest, I usually don't get that lucky. I actually consider that really lucky. Because that was a beautiful headshot right there. Oh man. I think that's just rats. Yeah. I gotta go through there. That zombie's just having a really fun time. No items. There's a doorway there, though. Hang on. Because, again, I really don't remember this game. It's so nice to go through this game again. Oh, I can exit. When, whenever the game says exit, that means you exit into a new area. And that probably loop us to another area we've already been to. So I don't want to exit. I just want to keep going. Which means I can go ahead and kill this show. But there are no uh, sneak attacks in this game either. You only have to know more attacks and all that. I'm okay with using a bullet there. Increase my skill, you know. But there might be more zombies. Yeah, we can slide under. Oh, knew you were alive. You're still alive? You okay though, bud? Yeah, take another one. Nice. Say hello to the pistol. It's a pretty cool guy. You know, when I don't miss. Oh well. I'll deal with it. Okay, 
another item? Oh, it's like all the way back there. Oh no, it's right here. So, you know what, let's go ahead and just like, refill health. And we can actually get a map here. Here we go. Negative loot from this guy. Oh, it's alive. And now it's- Oh, it, it didn't die. Oh, nice. Yeah, let me hear you one more time. Still not dead? Okay, nice. Okay. So with that being said, we can keep going. To adventure. Let's see here. So we can go down here. And this is kind of a scary place. For an ancient lizard posing as a human anyway. But I'll tell you, <laughs> she knows the score. It's the government didn't want anyone to know about Dee's prophecy, not her match. I hope they get her away to India or something. Their climbers better for reptiles anyway. Okay. Yeah, I'll talk about the queen a little bit. And here we go, we finally made it. So this is the bunker of the palace. So we can exit into the actual bunker. <laughs> do, 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 skip. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's still never opens, you know, one of the real doors where you can't do anything. Oh, what does that say? Fire point. Okay, I don't see any fire, but gotcha. Oh, one of these doors. Give me a sec. There's your way in. Okay. Be careful. I won't have eyes on you down there. You're on your own. Yeah, so this is one of the points of the game where he kind of tells you that he can't really talk you through this part. And honestly... I'm losing you. Must be shielded. Watch your back. Yeah. Uh, which this place is actually really dangerous. So from this point, you can actually go to two ways. From here. Oh, is it three ways? Wow, I didn't realize. Oh, wait. The sign. Whenever you see a sign like this, um, because in the past we've seen the sign. And that means... There is... A... A... Nothing safe room. You always know it's a safe room too by the music tone that starts playing. Okay. So this will actually be the end of the second session. Um but don't worry, episode will be normal as always. Which is actually really cool. Um and probably I'm going to change the cricket bat too. See what else we got besides Punk's Not Dead. And honestly, oh there's the milk again. Oh, and the two cartons. I don't know if all of the um, safe rooms are the same, because they do look all the same. But anyways, yeah, this will be the second session. We'll explore Bogan's Palace. Which pretty much, I think this is the real start of the game. Which, um, if you go to my ID, Cohen stores 3,480, 76 fed kill. Oh, still have it died, yeah, we got an hour and 18 through it. Pretty nice. And we actually are on the third level, we only need to kill five more, and we actually max out the level to level four, which means we're basically a professional in the combine. Only two more, and as you can see here, saw guns, hunting crossbows, and white flash and cheese. There are all the different types of gun, like there's a second hand gun, and again, there's two different saw guns. I think there's pretty much two different, like, types of gun for everything. And, um, a fun fact, later on we'll get a sniper rifle. But I can't, don't remember if it counts as a hunting crossbow. I don't think it does. But it might. Because it does have its own, like, level tree. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and save. By walking to it. There we go. And I will see you guys in the next official episode. Whether it be, like, what, the third episode or fourth episode? About so. So, until then, see you then.